Hi guys, Dave Anderson here for Globe Trekker. Today we're gonna to be talking about these side brackets, a couple of these other items, and kind of wonder what the heck these things are. This is a brand new shaft lock collar, um, and it is right out of the package. We actually will take these and send them in for zinc plating for maximum corrosion protection prior to you getting them. This is a bore ring collar. It is very substantial. And in order to get the 16,000 pounds of force that this thing is capable of holding back on the shaft lock collar, this must be in place. In this application, there is no axial thrust. You already have a lock shaft here. This doesn't need to hold the actual thrust. This whole shaft in itself doesn't have any actual thrust load. When you're on the side, you do have the habitat moving. And so when the truck is torsionally twisting, you will be moving the box up and down. And when you're moving the box up and down, you're putting load on the end of this. So when this pivot is coming up, if this slides out, you will be deflecting and deforming that weld or the plate. So we have seen an issue with the cracked and broken weld. So what we wanna do is make sure that this application does not allow for this bronze bushing to slide. We don't want this to slide and create torsional twist on the end of this shaft, therefore putting stress that's undue fatigue onto this weld and plate. If you choose to, and you wish to wait, you can upgrade this to the Ultra Grip. We've given you the link. You can change this out and go up to 22,000 pounds. The 16,000 pound load actual thrust is more than adequate for what we've calculated. Uh, to get this back in its intended use and you'll be fine. So here is the side mounted bracket or the pivot for the subframe system. Um, we also call these axial pivots. You'll notice that the flange, it is welded a little bit lower on this side than it is on the upper side. And that way you can turn this around to develop the best fit for your vehicle. So just keep that in mind. You can either make it taller or you can make it shorter just by rotating this around. It gives you a little bit more flexibility with your subframes. So this is how your oil bronze bushing should fit into this side bracket here. Um, it should be on the outside where the shaft lock collar will slide. This side bracket is also interchangeable. You could have it like this or or you could mount it like this, depending on how your subframe fits onto your truck frame. Ideally, you want to get this as close to the flange as possible. Too far out is not good. If you ever have trouble trying to get your lock ring off, take all the bolts out and there's three places where you can put the bolts back in that are threaded. You start threading those against it and it will pry these two pieces apart and you'll be able to remove it. So this is your tutorial about how to get these shaft lock collars on. Fit it inside the bore lock ring. You will also need to ensure that the lock ring gaps are also aligned. Slide the whole assembly onto the shaft. And you want to get it as close to that oiled bronze bushing as possible. Make sure that your bore ring is also aligned with the back of the shaft lock collar. Once everything is aligned and properly fit, start to tighten up the bolts. Tighten the bolts in a star pattern. Once you've gone one time around, come back over and check to see if everything is still lined up. You can see that this bore lock collar has kind of moved away from the back here, so I'm going to readjust it. Now that I've gone around this at least four times in a star pattern to ensure that all of them are tight, about as tight as I can get with my hand, 
Now it is time for the torque wrench. The torque wrench is going to be set for 30 foot pounds and I'm gonna go around in a star pattern to tighten these up. With the torque wrench gone around in a star pattern at least twice, I would do it at least three times. This is capable of holding 16,000 pounds of axial thrust. Key points, when you're putting this together, you want to make sure that you have your slits aligned, that the bore ring is lined up with the actual external ring, so there's space there. Ensure that you tighten the bolts in a star pattern by hand at least three times, and at least twice with the torque wrench. Ensure that the bore ring is aligned with the back of the shaft lock collar, which should be very close to the oiled bronze bushing. Depending on your truck frame width, your axial pivot may not be this close to the shaft flange. Remember, the axial pivot is reversible. Orient your axial pivot to fit as close as possible to the flange. Okay, I'll track the trailer, it's got it up and landing, right?